If you get blue screen error IRQL not less or equal, this error means that something may be wrong with a device driver, your device's memory, or antivirus software on your device. Here are some things to try. First open your start menu and type device manager. Open your device manager. Expand display adapters. Right click your display adapter. Select properties. Go to the driver tab. Click on update driver. Click on search automatically for driver software. Wait for the update to be installed. You can also click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. Now click on check for updates. If that didn't work, Go back to Device Manager and click on Roll Back Driver if you have the option. Now restart after updating. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work, open Start and type Device Manager. Open your Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click your network adapter. Select Uninstall Device. Press Uninstall. Now restart. Press Yes. Now your problem should be fixed. First open Start and type CMD. Right click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type SFC slash scan now. Press enter. Wait for windows to be repaired. If that didn't work, first open Start and type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Press Yes. Type the following command and then press Enter. Wait for Windows to be repaired. If that didn't work. Open Start and type Recovery Options. Open Recovery Options. 
Go to Advanced Startup and click on Restart Now. Press System Restore. Select your account. Press Next. Select your latest restore point. Press Next. Press Finish. Press Yes. Now wait for your PC to be restored. Now your PC should be restored. Press Restart. Now your problem should be fixed. If that didn't work. If that didn't work. Open your settings. Open update and security. Open recovery. In Advanced Startup select Restart Now. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on Startup Settings. Press Restart. Press F5 on your keyboard. Search for Windows Memory Diagnostic. Open Windows Memory Diagnostic. Press Restart Now and check for problem.
Wait for your PC to be repaired.